Thank you, Salam, and thank you to everybody watching at home. As Salam alluded to earlier, we are in an unprecedented period of upheaval. Old rules are being discarded, long-held norms are being shattered. This is a hard reset of American politics. The political parties can no longer ignore the social movements which grow out of the grassroots. Assalamu alaikum, I'm Adam Badawi, the policy analyst for the Muslim Public Affairs Council. The future is changing, but it's not enough to just be there when the dust settles. We have to play an active role in building an American pluralist future. We are trying to build an American pluralism out of the last four years of divisive nationalism and parochial individualism. Now, how do we do that? As Salam alluded to earlier, it's about maintaining relationships with key elected officials and having a political strategy that extends beyond 2020. Let's take the first point. In Pennsylvania, the Muslim vote can swing the national election. In states like Nevada, Arizona, and Michigan, we can swing key Senate seats. So let's make the most of this opportunity. In those states, we're organizing town halls, bringing community close together with key leaders and influencers in government. They need to hear our voice now more than ever. But it's not enough to just be there at the table. We need to take advantage of the opportunity. Our Tale of Two Futures project is a policy analysis piece that shows clearly how parties will approach issues relevant to the American Muslim community. It shows clearly and concisely the political landscape, where we've been, where we are, and where we ought to go. It identifies the coalitions and interest groups key for addressing the issues that matter to American Muslims and us all. All of our elections work is premised on the same point, bringing American Muslims where they belong, the forefront of building an American pluralist future. Thank you, and with that, I'll turn it back to Salam.